Welcome to another video by Shadow Dragon. Today I'm going to do kind of a hybrid tutorial demo kind of deal. This is an automatic chicken farm and I think that to build the entire thing in a tutorial would be a bit of a pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the whole thing, demonstrate it, and try to teach you how to build it without having to um, start from the beginning here. So the way this works is your chickens obviously go in here. This is a nine by two by two area under the glass here. And there are transposers here at the bottom, okay? And the transposers go, I basically sectioned it off into three by two by two areas. And in the center of each one at the bottom, is a transposer, okay? And then in the center section at the top, you've got deployers. And the deployers are where the eggs are gonna end up, okay? Now, the bottom, the transposers are all connected here with this redstone pipe. It goes all the way across, and then, and as you can see, this is the last part of the hole and at that part you put a normal pneumatic tube and then a restricting pneumatic tube okay and um, a restriction tube right there and the recipe for that is just an ironing kit with a pneumatic tube okay so next to that you put a deployer facing all that tubing or I'm sorry a item sorter item detector and uh, <laughs> And the item detector needs to be on the mode where it has this X in it. You see there's three modes and you want this mode here. Okay, and then after that you put a normal pneumatic tube and then redstone tubes all along the top until you get to your deployers. Okay, and the reason you do that is because when you want, when your um, transposers fire, you do not want your deployers to fire as well yet because you're not ready for that. Okay, and you put these panels here to separate the tubing. Okay, and as you can see, the panels along the redstone tubes here are on the bottom. They are technically in the same tile as the tubes on the bottom. And for these two, I placed them on top. Um, technically for this one, it doesn't matter. For this one, I had to do that because you can't place the panel in the same block as the item detector. Okay, so now on to the rest of the circuitry here. This tube comes out and goes into a filter with the input side facing the device, and that has cooked chicken and a feather in it. And the reason I do that is because since this restriction tube is here, we want all of our cooked chicken and feathers to come through the system and go into this chest, okay? Now, what we use to make it so that when the deployers are full, they empty themselves, is this circuit over here. All right, you have a state cell, which you will place facing this direction. Okay, when you, when you face this direction and place it, it should place right. But to be sure, you can just make sure that the redstone torch is sticking up on the left-hand side, or I'm sorry, on the right-hand side and pointing to the left. Okay, and then, standing facing this way you place your not gate and then still facing this way you place your timer i've set my timer on 0.5 seconds okay and you have a red alloy wire coming from the detector going into the state cell and coming out of the timer going into jacketed cable which is going up into the top section of redstone tubes this will fire our deployers until they're empty. This timer on the other side is facing down. You can use a screwdriver to turn it if you need to and it goes into jacketed cable which is connected to the redstone tubes on the bottom and these this it doesn't really matter what you set this to set this to I just have two seconds but that will suck up any eggs or cooked chicken or feathers and the eggs will go through the item detector, but it will not fire because it's set to detect jams instead. 
Okay, and it will go into the deployers. Now, once the deployers are full, the eggs will go back and jam up the deploy or the detector. I'm sorry. And when that happens, a redstone signal will be sent to the state cell, which is set to 72 seconds. And the state cell will power the not gate, which turns the power to the timer off, which causes it to spin. And that powers the deployers. Okay, so the idea is once this fills up with chickens from that process happening, it will, let's get some chicken eggs so I can show you this. Okay. We'll just do, we'll just spawn some adult chickens. Okay. bunch of these guys. Okay, so the reason I put the glass over it, by the way, is because you want your glass to go from at least here to here on the opposite side, but occasionally the deployers will hit the baby chickens that come out of the eggs that every time it fires and that will cause the baby chickens to come out of the device, which is bad. So um, that's to keep to make sure that all the chickens get contained in there. So let's replace this glass. And so now what I'm going to do is this. That was from me killing all the chickens before making this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these guys up to emulate the process ending. Okay. I'm going to delete a bunch of this stuff so that I can show this to you more easily. Okay, so if our device is full, what will happen is the eggs will come through, and just to show you more easily, I'm going to just throw an egg in there. Okay, you see the egg comes through, hits the item detector, and it immediately jams because it has nowhere to go, because these were already full. Okay, and the igniter's light, and that's the part I haven't shown you yet, the igniters are all powered off of this detector as well. Okay, so all you have to do for that is run an alloy wire from the bottom of your detector down under the igniters. Nice and easy. So when it detects the jam, these will light and it'll immediately become unjammed. See, because I killed that glass, they're come, they're getting out. So it will immediately clear the jam because the deployers will start firing and that will cause the igniters to go out. And the reason that's good is because we don't want to kill all our newly born chickens. So what this device gives you is a whole bunch of cooked chicken and feathers and it should never overflow unless this chest gets full, so just make sure to put a nice size chest here. You can run this across several chests, whatever. But you should never really have a problem with there being too many chickens if you play on a server or something like that. So that is my automated chicken farm. This is completely automated and you do not have to attend it in any way. Once you get a few chickens in here at least, it will start the whole process they'll lay their eggs when it fills up. It will restock, it will kill them all with fire. You'll get cooked chickens and it will refill it with baby chickens like it's done here. So that is the automatic chicken farm and please let me know in the comments if it was easy enough to follow this video because um, I do have some more complicated builds that, for instance, my um, my tunnel boring machine, 
that I would love to try to teach you guys how to make, but if doing it in this method is is too difficult to follow, then I will have to just delay it a bit longer so that I can try to get um, the other way I do tutorials. I just do it that way. Um, but let me know, and thanks for watching.